Number 20, Lockie Plowman. Lockie Plowman finished third in our best and fairest in 2019. And I think some of us, maybe most of us, were a little surprised at that. Um, and it just probably goes to show what we as fans know about what actually goes on on the inside and, and what role a player is playing. I mean, I myself thought he started the season pretty poorly last year by his own standards. I, I found myself wanting more from him last year. And I probably got learnt as the year went on that... He's playing a role within those four walls that I don't really know about and a lot of us don't really know about. Um, and he's obviously doing it very well because to finish third in the best and fairest, that's a phenomenal achievement for him. And then when you take a step back and you look at his season again, you know he's averaged career high numbers in disposals, spoils, one percenters, intercept marks. And overall, it was an improvement on the year before. And, and that's the main thing for Lockie Plowman. You look at the strengths that he has. Well, he played 21 games last year. A very durable year. Uh, he played a very versatile role. He found himself at times on Dustin Martin types. He found himself at times on Jack Darling. He found himself at times on Charlie Cameron. And so the versatility mixed with the consistency and the ability to stay on the park is very valuable for us. And when we enter 2020, and again, I refer to Doherty coming back because Doherty allows others to play their natural game just by the nature of the way he controls the back line with his voice and his instruction. I'm looking forward to seeing what we're going to get from Lockie Plowman. I feel like there's an element of his attacking game that he's still there to be unlocked, and that's probably what we're going to be able to see this year now that Doki's back. And the reason why I say that is because I found that to be the case in 2017. I thought he was I thought he had a pretty good year. He it was, you know, that year where he started changing from being a little boy in the system and, and starting to really come into his own. And now he's got quite a few years under his belt. He's obviously at a new club now. He's very much part of the you know the leadership group or you know he's one of the senior voices there, even though he is still pretty young. And so that's probably what I'm looking for from Lockie Plowman in 2020. Because you know, if you look at that back line, it is stacked. You know, you've got four guys who are just absolute locks week in, week out if they're fit and healthy in Weedering, Jones, Doherty, and Marchbank to an extent. And I think you can probably got to put Lockie Plowman in that category as well. Now, how the system is going to be played down back, I don't know. Are we too tall? Maybe we are. But someone like a Lockie Plowman has shown through his versatility that that doesn't really matter for him because he can play on those smaller types. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a good year for Lockie Plowman. Uh, I think the, the fact that he just plays his role, very unassuming footballer, very fit, very strong guy, uh, he's, I, I find him to be really good in the air with those spoils. Um, sometimes the kicking can get him, can let him down, but uh, I think now that the, the the rest of the team is starting to improve around him, I think we're going to see him benefit from that. So it's it's going to be a good year. I'm very interested to see where he can take his game to in 2020. What about you? How do you see Lockie Plowman's season unfolding? Where would you like him to play? What type of role does he play? Is it you know a, a week to week? basis type thing or is it something a little bit more lockdown that you're looking from him let me know in the comments below